Hi guys and welcome to a new episode of Cooking with Alina. So a few weeks back I posted a picture of oats khichdi on my Instagram page and many of you have requested for that recipe. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make oats khichdi. Now if you're on a weight loss journey or looking for something low calorie and low carb then this is a perfect meal. So without wasting any time let me take you over through the ingredients so that we can get started with the recipe. For the oats khichdi, I've taken one fourth cup of moong dal or yellow moong, and I've soaked it in water. It's been soaking for 20 minutes now. One cup of instant oats, one small tomato. I've taken carrots and beans here, but you can use any vegetable that you like. You can use green peas, bell peppers, or anything that you like. One medium-sized onion, some chopped cilantro, some curry leaves, salt to taste, some vegetable oil, mustard seeds, asafoetida a teaspoon of some ginger garlic paste, a teaspoon of cumin seeds and half a teaspoon of some turmeric. Now those are the ingredients you need for the oats khichdi. Let's go ahead now with the recipe. So into my pressure cooker I'm going to add in a teaspoon of some olive oil, half a teaspoon of some cumin seeds and one medium sized onion. I'm just going to sauté this till the onions get softened. So now that the onions have softened, I'll add in half a teaspoon of some ginger and garlic paste. Mix it till the raw flavour from the ginger garlic paste goes away. So I'm going to add in the soaked and drained moong dal. I've drained out all the water completely. Just saute this for a minute or two. After sauteing it for two minutes, I'm now going to add in one small tomato. I've chopped around two carrots and four beans. I'm going to add that in. A quarter teaspoon of some turmeric powder. Just mix it in now. I'm going to add in one cup of some instant oats. I'm going to add in around two and a half cups of water. Um, two and a half to three cups, I think the water is less, so I'm going to add in another cup of water. At this stage, I'm not going to add in any salt. I'm just going to cover this with the lid and let this cook now. So on medium flame, I'm let's going to cook for three whistles. So after three whistles, this is what it looks like. If you remember, I haven't added any salt. Now at this stage, I'm going to add in some salt to taste. And I'm going to mix it in. See, the oats is going to absorb some more water. So if you want, you can add in some water at this stage. Like a quarter to half cup of water. Now this totally depends on the consistency you like it. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of some red chilli powder. You can add green chilies as well. Keep this aside now and go ahead with the tempering. So I'm going to add in a teaspoon of some ghee into this tempering pan. You can add oil as well. But I like the flavour of ghee. To this now I'm going to add in some mustard seeds. Around half a teaspoon of it. Half a teaspoon of some cumin seeds. One whole red chilli. Asafoetida or hing few curry leaves. I'm just going to pour this over the khichdi and I'm going to add in lots of chopped coriander. This adds a lot of flavour to the khichdi. Now mix in everything really well and that's it. The oats khichdi is ready to be served. That's it, the oats khichdi is ready. Wasn't this oats khichdi so simple and easy to make? This is my current obsession and whenever I crave for something comforting, I can have this for breakfast, lunch or dinner. If you liked the video, then please do give it a thumbs up and also do share the video with your friends and family. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you guys next week with another new recipe. Until then, bye.